Space, the final frontier. As the human race gradually comes closer to space travel, there are going to be inevitable consequences, such as being exposed to the vastness of space without a spacesuit. Many people believe if the human body was subjected to the vacuum of outer space, then you would immediately explode, your guts and organs covering a vast distance. But that just isn't the case. As with many things, the reality is much, much worse. So there you are, going about your daily space marine business, when suddenly your hull is breached. You tumble out of the gaping hole wearing nothing more than a t-shirt and shorts. As you see the wreckage which you once called home float away, you are exposed to a wide range of different situations. The first thing you will notice is the fact that you cannot breathe, but not for the immediate reasons you may think. Obviously there isn't any air in space, that is understandable. However, space is one giant vacuum, and vacuums have violent effects on enclosed gases. These gases try to escape anywhere they can. This includes the air that is already in your lungs. As you try to hold your breath, the life-giving oxygen you so desperately need is ripped straight out, violently firing out of your mouth. But what about the nitrogen that is also in your blood? That needs to go somewhere, but it can't. So the nitrogen expands due to the massive pressure differences. This causes you to go into something called the bends. Deep sea divers can also get this after surfacing too quickly. The bends is the name of the act of the gases bubbling inside your blood. This can cause excruciating pain. The gas that is trapped inside you would expand so much that your skin would expand. And because your skin is so tough, it can hold quite a lot. You would increase up to twice your normal size. Okay, so you can't move, you can't breathe, and you just farted your soul out of your body. What next? The question shouldn't be what is next, more like, what else is happening at the same time? Water, when exposed to the harshness of space, has a tendency to instantly turn into a gas. That is all good and well. Most of the water inside your body is protected by your internal organs, muscles and skin. So why bring this up? There is a slight amount of water on the outside of your body, mainly on your lips, the pores of your skin, and more importantly, on your eyes. The water that coats your eyes is now boiling, and even if you try to close your eyes, the steam will force its way out. So there's not much you can do. Okay, so now you're gasless, waterless, and airless. But you are still alive, for now. Down here on Earth, we live in a nice bubble. Space contains a mass of UV rays, gamma radiation, and X-rays, which are stopped by the thick coating we call our atmosphere. Unfortunately for you, you don't have anything to protect you. So these beams of radiation are pelting your body with unrelenting force. This will give you the worst sunburn imaginable. You would look like you've just walked through a fire. That is just from the UV rays. Gamma rays and X-rays would mess with your DNA. So even if you did somehow manage to get back into your escape pod, later down the line, cancer would catch up with you. All of this happens within around three minutes. You would then pass out due to the lack of oxygen, and moments later, you would eventually die. So the lesson for today is, always wear protection. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more new fusion action. I've been CJ, sleep tight.